G'day everyone! Today, let's do something a little bit different. I feel like we keep doing different things lately. Anyway, I have received in the mail from the United States a box of seashells. It is my absolute honor and privilege to be able to open this from one of my absolutely lovely longtime watchers here on YouTube. I just, I can't wait. Let's get into this. Here we go. I absolutely want to give a massive thank you to Trudy, um, who has been collecting seashells for quite a while in Pennsylvania, for sending me this box at a not insignificant expense to herself. That is just, I mean, I, I'm speechless. It's honestly, I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so, so much for doing this for me. And uh, let's get into it. The first thing you'll notice is the big word saying released from biosecurity control. So Australia, like many other countries, has strict biosecurity laws. And I don't know if this one was flagged specifically because it was a seashell package. Like it just says seashells and they're like, okay, we better inspect that. Or if it was like triggered um, like something on their scans and then they had to like inspect it. I'm not sure if this has been opened by them. I dare say they've at least, yeah, they probably opened it, I, I guess. Looks like someone's opened it right along the place where I just cut. Anyway. Oh, okay. We've got a, we've got a message from the Australian government by the looks of it. Hold on. Um, so it has been like, oh, there we go. There we go. Open for inspection by biosecurity. Your goods have been expected um, for biosecurity and risk material. It looks like um, no biosecurity concerns were identified in the, and no goods have been removed. Okay, that is awesome. So a big thing about sending this kind of stuff into Australia is that it will, you know, have to go through quite a, quite a test process, I suppose. Let me know if your country also has strict biosecurity laws. I have a feeling that a lot of countries do. I think places like New Zealand would probably be even worse than Australia. So let me know if you're from uh, across the pond. All right, we got one layer away. <laughs> oh my God. Oh wow, look at that. Would you get a load of that box? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I should say that this was sent just before Christmas and um, I guess it's just a slightly late Christmas gift slash uh, a uh, couple weeks early birthday gift. My birthday's in a few weeks. Wow, it's all shiny and sparkly. I know everyone wants to see the seashells. We've already been going for three minutes. Oh, it's magnetized. Okay. Um, dun, 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 dun. Oh, I've got a note. Thank you so, so much to you, Trudy, for all of these, giving me the names and the scientific names as well as I reveal them. I will do my best to match these with what's in the box. I am just buzzing with anticipation. So, ooh. Here we go. Wow. Right away. I can see lots of beautiful little like um, bags and stuff. It does look quite jumbled. It does, however, look like it doesn't seem like anything's broken, I will say. First thing I noticed right off the bat. Look at this little thing. Oh, my God. Camera. There we go. Got to focus on it. I'm sorry. My lights aren't up high enough, obviously. This is probably the common nutmeg shell. Wow, the point on it looks so good. It feels so good as well. That is a very, very nice texture on it. Oh my goodness, we'll put him to the side for now. This one looks amazing. It's in its own little box. Can I, can I open the box? Oh, it does open. Oh, the box looks like it did. Oh no, that looks fine. Anyway, wow, would you get a load of this thing? I'm sorry, let me move the uh, camera down just a, just a wee tad. There we go. This one. <gasps> wow, would you get a load of the shape of this thing? Oh my goodness, I love that. It's so like, it's like, it's like spaceship kind of uh, shaped. I don't know how to explain it. This one is the heart cockle. Oh my goodness, I love that. Thank you for the pretty box. That is like, I don't have a display case yet for all of these. I am actually going to go to Ikea this week to find something. Ooh, okay, we've got some cat eye operculums. So, oh wow, look at those. Oh wow, oh wow, they're, they're such great colors. Look at that one, look at how deep green that is. I've never seen anything like um, colored operculums before. Uh, we get operculums here that are, that are like different sizes for these big green turbo shells, but they're almost always white or gray from discolor. I've never seen colored operculums before. That is gorgeous. Thank you. 
Okay, what's this one? What's this one? We have an Atlantic common slipper shell. Oh, there's two of them in there. Let's take a look at them. Oh my goodness, this is like me being the most spoiled girl in the history of everything. There we go. Obviously, the slipper shell with its iconic little like lip there. Wonderful. Oh, there's something else in it. Oh, that is a slipper shell. Oh, it is. Oh, so the slipper shells we get here are much smaller than this. And they also have like different textures and colors. Our slipper shells are more kind of like a, a bumpy texture. And they've got like, they're just all white and smaller with like a, with like a pale brown stripe going right across the top. So wow, these ones are just so different. What else do we have? Oh, wow. Look at that one. Oh, look at that. Wow. Thank you so much, Trudy. Look at that presentation. Oh my God. I'm like eating this with my eyes before eating this with my hands. There we go. Oh no, what a shame. We've got a little bit out of the beautiful angel wing. I think I can repair that. Fret not everyone. Absolutely beautiful angel wing. As you know, the angel wings we get here. So this is the angel wing from Florida. As you know, the angel wings we get here are extremely delicate and quite a lot smaller. So this is a Florida angel wing. Absolutely lovely with beautiful textures. Again, oh, so, so sad about that little chip out there. That could have been from the inspection of the biosecurity people. That could have just been from a long way from America. I was expecting some breakages, to be honest. But oh my goodness, thank you so much, Trudy. It's so different than the Australian or the Australasian angel wings. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Would you take a load of this one? Moving right along, we have, for me, something that I've wanted for a long, long time. The fig shell, comma, Oh, so the fig shell must have actually been in the box with this one and it, and it busted out. We have the alphabet cone. It looks like a, an extremely lovely yellow one. Wow, I usually see like the chocolatey colored ones on all of those like seashell uh, videos on YouTube. I've never seen a yellow one before. Oh my, I do like that. Thank you so, so much, Trudy. I've always wanted an alphabet cone. He looks absolutely stunning and adorable. <laughs> We have, next up, we will continue on. This is a rose talon. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it's a joined one. Um, I wasn't sure if having a joined bivalve would trigger the biosecurity at, um, at Sydney because um, when they're still joined, they have like a layer of, uh, of uh, what do you call it, like tissue that, that keeps them together? Unless this one, no, no, this one's just together. Wow, that's super, super cool. Oh, is that... I don't know what happened there. That could have been originally like that, or that could have been from the long trip. Wow, it's so shiny, so lovely. I am so surprised that I could actually get a joined one into the country uh, with our biosecurity laws. That is absolutely stunning. Thank you. The Atlantic Coquina Clam. I am probably saying that entirely wrong. Let's take a look at these guys. So I think these might have been ones that... Uh, Trudy collected herself from uh, North Carolina. So thank you so much for these beautiful hand-picked shells right from your favorite place to go shelling. This is absolutely lovely. I especially like this one. Oh my goodness, would you get a load of the nice pattern on that? That is beautiful. It almost looks like, like a bittersweet clam kind of a pattern. Ooh. I do like that quite a lot. I will put these back into their little uh, container, container, packet. Oh, 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 so I did know about this one from Trudy to begin with. Um, Trudy also likes to collect Australian shells and she was looking at these ones. They're called a wavy volute. Um, she was originally looking for zebra volutes and uh, she got a listing which actually had two of them there. So she kept one of the wavy volutes and has sent me the other one. Oh my, would you look at that? It is so different than the regular kind of um, zebra volute I would find. Of course, it's only got the volute shape as its, um, as its familiarity here. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. I love that. Thank you so, so much for sending me your extra wavy volute. That is absolutely beautiful. 
For anyone who does want to see how this compares with a zebra volute, let's just grab it. I don't believe I can find wavy volutes. Uh, where I am in Australia, I think they're more for like, uh, either more down south or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, this little, uh, <laughs> this guy looks way smaller than the, uh, than the wavy volute, doesn't he? So that one's a zebra volute and that one's a wavy volute. Both absolutely lovely. I love volute shells. Volute shells are just so, so gorgeous. They're just so different than cowries and cones as well. So thank you absolutely so, so much for this beauty. I love him. Actually, I've loved all of them. Don't mind me. Oh my goodness. I had to pick that up the second I saw that, didn't I? Would you get a load of these guys? I supposedly can find these um, where I live. They are money calories. Oh, they look beautiful. Let me pick one up. Oh, wow. So, yes, they do look exceptionally similar to a ring top calorie that I have found several times um, in the last few months. These ones are like a runny egg version of a ring top calorie, which is how I always remember that. These ones are the money calories. And these ones in particular have special significance because, oh, oh, actually, I think this one is a ring top, not a money calorie. And these ones hold special significance because they are actually vintage calories from Trudy's family. She, um, her husband's father actually collected these in Guam decades ago. And these have been in her family ever since. And I told Trudy, I told her, don't send me your family heirlooms. Those are too precious. But uh, she was adamant and said that, um, that no one else in her family would want these after she was gone. So... So she sent them to me and I think, look at these. They are absolutely beautiful calories. Thank you so, so much. These ones right here are the most precious of all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these absolutely lovely vintage gem heirloom calories. I cannot, I cannot, oh, cannot say that enough. Thank you. Oh my, look at this guy. I have a feeling he might have um, slipped out of a, of a container somewhere. He is all whole though, that is incredible. He is a fig shell, a paper fig shell. Similar to what I find, um, this one actually doesn't have any colors on it. The ones I find, um, I'm sorry, I've only got a broken one. <laughs> so the ones I find are very, very rare for me. And the ones that I get, I usually have all of these like colors on them. I've never seen a white one before. That is super duper cool. Nice and shiny on the inside, lovely textures on the outside. And of course, in way better condition than the one I picked up a few months ago, but decided to keep anyway. Thank you so much for the lovely fig shell as well. Going, going, ooh. Oh, would you look at this thing? Oh, it's in the most beautiful little bag as well. Is this the, um, I did read the note that you sent me, is it sent me, is this the Russian abalone? Oh, my sweet swirly seashells. It is a donkey abalone. Wow, that just blows me away. Would you get a load of the patterns on that? So the abalone shells that I find are red and green and they're not anywhere near as like oblong or as large or as, as beautifully patterned as this. Look at his little swirl and his big old body. Okay, that, I'm not going to lie, I like shiny. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. I could look at that all day. Seriously, I need to, I need to put that away. It's too beautiful. Oh, what's this one? Oh, oh, so is this the land snail that I read about in your note? Yeah. A Haiti tree snail, candy cane colored. And there's two of them in here, oh my god. Let's take a quick look at these guys. So as you all know, I mainly collect marine gastropods. It doesn't mean that I don't know about land snails. Um, I just, I, I mean, I'm sure Australia has lovely land snails as well. I just, I don't go looking for them. It's not like I find them at the beach. Oh my goodness, these are lovely. They're just so different in a way that's, you know, they're not cowrie shells, they're not cone shells, they're not volute shells, they're not nutmegs, they're, they're actual land snails made by, you know, creatures that go up trees instead of over rocks and slime on the bottom of the ocean. Those are simply absolutely fantastic. I love those. Oh, I, you know what? I think I need to give land snails like a more of a closer look in the future. 
Hold on, let me put them back into their little bag. Oh, bag, back into their little box. I love these little boxes, by the way. I need to, uh, I need to find some myself. Oh, we have the Lataxis in here. He has gone walkabout, I think. Oh, yeah, he's, a. Uh, <clears throat> He's probably this one. I guess he's, is he this one? Oh my goodness. Is this the Lataxis? Am I saying that right? He was the only one floating around. This guy is extremely super delicate. Would you get a load of him? I am honestly kind of surprised that he survived considering it seems like he got popped out of his original container. I've got no idea what this is. I have actually, I don't remember ever seeing this on any of the, um, the shelling videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't remember ever seeing this on any of the shelling videos that I've ever seen um, uh, from like the Florida shellers. Wow, that is like, and the textures on it are so fantastic. Can you see that in the light? Wow, that is just like, that is one of the most brilliant shells I've ever seen. Some kind of conch, is it? No idea, but wow, I, I adore that one. Wow. I need to like Google all these to see where they actually came from and stuff. Oh, oh, there's so many good things. Oh my god. How many did you send me? I've only done like half of it and it's already a 20 minute video. Okay, I have been, I have been, you know, rattling around, you know, finding things for a while. Oh, oh, oh. Wedding clam. Oh, wedding cake Venus, sorry. Wedding clam, I say. There we go, got it open. I love these little boxes. Hold on, let's take a look at the top side of these. The wedding cake Venus clam. There we go. Look at these guys. They are absolutely just like absolutely weird, aren't they? I don't want to say weird because nothing is weird. Everything is gorgeous and wonderful and a work of art from nature. But I mean, I, I they're just so different than the clams I usually see, aren't they? Look at them. They got like nice little tears and bumps all around them. These are super duper cool. As you guys might know, I don't usually collect bivalves, but I have been branching out into them by getting like more of an appreciation for the, the shapes and patterns. These ones are positively lovely. Thank you so, so much for these Wedding Cake Venus clams. Just something that is a bit different for me. Absolutely wonderful textures on them. You've sent me like absolutely beautiful shells in beautiful condition. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, this one I'm pretty excited for because of course I've seen these on the on the um the shelling videos overseas. It's a spiny jewel box. Both halves of it, or at least um two halves. Wow. That is so cool. I remember when I just first started shelling and I didn't know what the um my prickly spotted droops were. People thought they were spiny jewel boxes, but no, nope, these are the real spiny jewel boxes. Oh my goodness. Are they two halves of the same one? I don't think so. <laughs> I was wondering, but wow, absolutely love those. They're just one of those shells that I just, I literally cannot find in Australia. These are so foreign and exotic to me. Like, I don't know if my, if most of my watchers are in America and think these ones are like boring to you because they're so usual to me. They are just absolutely spectacular and different than, oh, what are these? Okay, the spiny jewel, rocks, jewel boxes were exotic and different. These ones are very exotic and different. What the heck? They are flamingo tongues. Two flamingo tongues. Let's take a look at these ones. You know, I think I have seen people find these on Instagram. They were a lot smaller than on Instagram, let me tell you what. These, I think, are absolutely massive for, uh, for flamingo tongues, aren't they? Okay, maybe I've just got no idea. The uh, the pictures I saw on Instagram were just like a type of these. I am rambling on. Wow. They look like calories, but I'm pretty sure that they're not. Uh, I don't know if there's some kind of like, I don't know what kind of shell they are. I'll have to like look it up. There's um, Trudy's note had all of the uh, the shell species on it. So I should have, I should have memorized some before opening all of these. Wow. They are spectacular. Super duper in love with those two. Just Again, pretty sure I can't find those in Australia. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, look at them. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. They are zebra snails. 
Ooh, let's take a look at them. I am just, I am so amazingly happy and having the time of my life here. Thank you, all of you, if you are still watching this, this frankly, long unboxing now. Oh, wow, look at these guys. They kind of remind me of the, um, of the parallel neurite I found a couple of weeks ago. But these ones seem to have a much more elongated point on them. Oh my goodness, I just love how glossy they are. I love their patterns. I think they might be a type of neurite, just going by the bottoms of them. Wow, they are super, super beautiful. Absolutely love these guys. These are, these are like, I can't, I can't say favorites because they're all so different and wonderful in their own ways. I, oh, there we go. They went from in here. Must put everything back in its right place. Got to be super organized. You know what? I definitely need to go to Ikea to get that display cabinet now. I have been like putting it off for months. All of my beautiful seashells are stacked up behind me on a dresser doing doing nothing and looking absolutely terrible. Oh, what's this? Uh, Lani Makana, Gifts from Heaven. It's in a beautiful, nice drawstring canvas bag. Ooh. Oh, this was mentioned in, in the note as well. These, oh wow, these are some beautiful earrings. Thank you so, so much for these, Trudy. Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, I, I actually don't have pierced ears, but I am actually going to keep these as a bit of a souvenir. They are lovely. I do wonder what kind of cowrie they are, though. I won't even hazard a guess. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That is so beautiful. Oh, let's pick up the next shiny bag. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. It is a flat. It's um like the flat side of a scallop. Oh, my goodness. Look at how big that is. He's a massive guy. So I can find flat scallops here. But I just, I never do. I don't think I've ever actually found a flat scallop that wasn't um, tossed aside by someone else. It was like one I found and I'm pretty sure it was a dumped shell. This is wonderful. Absolutely love that. He's got such an interesting curve. He's not actually super, super flat. Ooh, I do like him. He's just like a very nice, um, very nice contrast to everything so far. Just absolutely colorful and lovely. Oh, let's keep going. These must be the jingle shells you mentioned. I do recognize these ones. Yep, it's a common jingle. Oh, we do have a little break on the container there. It's fine. It might just need to be popped back into place. Oh, there we go. So these guys, I, so I think I have found one jingle ever and it was like literally this big and it was orange. The, and it was so fragile as well. These ones are kind of like pretty thick. They've got this lovely shine to them as jingle shells do. I just, I don't typically ever find jingle shells. Like months and months of shelling, one tiny fragile one. Oh my goodness, I do like these. I can understand why people like jingle shells so much on the, um, on the videos from overseas now. They are just so much fun. Yep, absolutely love those guys. And they're different colors. You've got yellow, yellow, and black and white. They have a very nice variety. Very, very colorful. All right, we'll put them back where they were. Oh, okay. This is what I'm pretty excited for. It is the Scotch Bonnet. This is the, um... Oh, God, I was told many times and I've forgotten it now. It is the state seashell of North Carolina. Is that right? Did I get that right? So, oh, and there's also a few shells in there. Atlantic Kitten Paw. Oh, this is an Atlantic Kitten Paw that Trudy herself found at the beach at North Carolina. Is that why they were both together? So the North Carolina shell is with the North Carolina state seashell? I hope I've gotten that right. Wow. He's a cute little guy. Definitely definitely like him. Put him uh, down there for a second when we look at the Scotch bonnet. Wow. That is an absolutely... Oh, we got another surprise in there. <laughs> We've got another kitten paw and he's got a little... um. Oh, he's got a little bivalve stuck to him. How unique is that? Definitely, definitely cool. Okay. Now we're back to the bonnet. This is an absolutely lovely bonnet. Look at that condition. Look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. Holy schmoly, everyone. 
definitely like that. So these guys are what a few of my, uh, well, when I didn't know what, what, what bonnets were called, I didn't know what all their names were. Some of my um, friendly commenters said, hey, maybe it's a scotch bonnet. And I said, no, it can't be a scotch bonnet. We don't get them in Australia. So this one for me is actually an extremely foreign and exotic shell because I just cannot find these anywhere on my side of the world. That is extremely lovely. Thank you so much for that beautiful scotch bonnet. Ooh, okay, I had been eyeing this one off at the bottom of the box for quite a while, but I was like determined to pick up the other ones first. It is, this must be what was, what said in the note was a juvenile horse conch. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's a juvenile horse conch from Florida. <gasps> wow, would you get a load of that one? Look at that, that's in like pristine, I mean they're all in like pristine condition, honestly. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So personally, I do like big shells, but I actually like the um, the small to medium size shells much, much more. So something like this, absolutely my style. If I didn't know if it was a horse conch or a juvenile horse conch, I would think that's a spindle shell or something. Are they supposed to be that long? That is a very long shell. It's absolutely lovely. Wow, I'm I'm absolutely in love with this guy. This guy is amazing. Um, honestly, they're all amazing though. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? Oh, look at that! So, as well as collecting seashells, Trudy also likes to collect fossils. And um, this one is a shark tooth. Um, she also collects fossilized shark tooth teeth, like um megalodon teeth or a megalodon tooth is her best one. I I've heard. Wow, look at that. So the note I read before opening said that this is actually a tiger shark tooth. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I'm not really up with shark teeth. I have heard that when they go, when they like fossilized or something, they go black. This one is like a very nice kind of like almost greeny brown color. But the top of it here, all that like, um, all that white stuff seems like it's fossilized. So I've got no idea what to make of this one. Is it a fresh one? Or is it like a fossilized one? I think that's absolutely beautiful. It's got some weight to it as well. Oh my goodness, that is like, I'm not just a seashell girl. I think this kind of stuff is extremely cool as well. Oh my, I definitely, definitely like this guy. He is, he's got a great color on him. All right, so, oops, Atlantic Kitten Paw, where did you go? That might have been one I already, I already took out. We'll put him aside for now. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, this is a sea urchin spine, um, very very different than the sea urchin spines I find, let me tell you, the ones that I find are about half or a third as wide and they're, and they're dark purple and usually a bit shorter. This one is amazing, like if, you, if I wasn't told that this was a sea urchin spine in that note before, I wouldn't have any clue what that was, I might even think it was some kind of like fossilized wood. Which makes me wonder what sea urchin spines are made of. No, they're made out of bone, aren't they? <laughs> um, wow, that is super cool. Just so totally different than anything I've ever collected. I do like that. Interesting. And, like, what are these, like, patterns on it? That is super duper cool. It's got, like, I don't know how to describe it. Because it's, like, textured. Like, like a talky, chalky texture. But it's not, like, bumpy like seashells. Super duper interesting. Ooh. Ooh, what's this one? We have, oh, it is a fossilized tiger shark tooth. Are you kidding? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Trudy has definitely shared quite a treasure with me. It even has its own information. It was found in uh, Bone Valley in Florida. Go figure. Ooh, that is really amazing from fossilera.com for anyone who wants to find their own, I suppose. Oh, 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 look at this dude. Oh, let's, let's move him a little bit. Look at this dude! Isn't he amazing? We have a channeled Babylon. We have two channeled Babylon. So when I was reading uh, the note before, I didn't actually know what these were. I guess I know what they are now. Let's take a look at both of them. We've got quite a large one in here and quite a little guy. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, wow. Would you look at the shine and the pattern on that shell? And the point? <gasps> They're just in superb condition. Oh my goodness. Are they both the same? Like, look at this one's bumps. They're kind of very, like, uh, curved. And these ones, this one's bumps have kind of like a curve, but also has, like, quite a long step there for the next one that this one lacks. 
oh my goodness, they're just two very, very different yet exactly the same shells. Oh, I, I don't know where where these ones are from. They're probably set in the note that I've got that I keep referring to is underneath all of these seashells now. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. Channeled Babylon. Again, I am like almost 100% sure I cannot find these in Australia. I've got no idea where these come from. Absolutely wonderful. They're, I don't want to start picking favourites because I know I just cannot pick favourites. These are all extremely lovely and different and unique and wonderful in their own ways. Although if I did have to pick a favourite, you know what, I'll tell you my favourite at the end. That'll make it extra exciting. We have over here a giant cockle shell. I don't know, is this one of the ones that Trudy herself collected? It could very well be. Oh yeah, look at that one. I can find cockle shells here, but they are, um, they're just not like this one. This one is actually very nice as well. Look at that shine on the shell. It's, it's in extremely lovely condition too. Wow. My cockle shells are more red in color, I want to say, and they're just like a different shape. And I think they're also a bit more spiky. We get like, not this cockle shell here. That is super cool as well. Oh my goodness. I am being absolutely spoiled. Oh, I just found that. I just, I just noticed that. I, I'm, I just noticed that. Wow. It's in its little heart tin as well. So I was told ahead of time that this one would be in the box for me. And I have been like anxiously awaiting it. Oh my goodness, Trudy, thank you so, so much. This is the Hawaiian bubble shell or a bubble shell from Hawaii. So this one, apparently I can find here, but I have never heard of anyone finding it here. I am, I am kind of too afraid to open it. Okay, I'll open it, but be, I'll be careful. I won't drop things. I actually got both hands working in my favor, unlike usual at the beach. This is the... Ooh, you know what? I'm not even sure if I can open that. Maddie's having some technical, like, brain difficulties. I am not going to risk that. <laughs> this is the Royal Paper Bubble, I think is what it's called. Or the Royal Bubble, something like that. It's, um, Hydatina Amplaster, I think was its scientific name. Or Amplaster Amplaster, I forget which one it was now. Would you take a look at those colours? This one is definitely in a spectacular condition like look at that shine look at that nice pattern on it oh my goodness Trudy you did way too much sending me such a gorgeous shell thank you so much for this guy they are extremely rare for me here I've never heard of any of the local shellers actually finding one of these and I think if they did find one of these it most likely wouldn't be whole like this one is I can see it's, its lip looks absolutely lovely under there Oh my goodness, this is absolutely a very rare treasure to me. Thank you so much. Ooh. Ooh, moving right along. What? What do we have here? Is, is this the note for it? Did it fall out? Magpie Black and White Turbo. I do think that says that one pretty dang well. Oh, wow. It's polished. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, and I want to say, oh, I like how it says made in the Philippines, <laughs> like it wasn't like grown by a snail, <laughs> like say it was like a man-made product. I'm sorry, I found that amusing for a second. Wow, absolutely does not detract from the absolute beauty of this shell. Trudy, thank you so much for uh, relinquishing this one from your collection. That is absolutely like words escape me for telling you how spectacular I think this one is. I love moon snails. This one obviously is not a moon snail. It's a turbo shell. But you know what? It's just like, I just love it anyway. It reminds me of a moon snail. So that's, you know, working in its favor right now. It's absolutely beautiful and glossy. I'm, I'm kind of thinking it was perhaps polished like that. Um... But wow, got some beautiful um, nacre under there which shines through. Nacre? I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Absolutely fantastic colours. I love the black and white shells. This one, oh boy, that one speaks to me. Oh my goodness. Whew, let's keep going now. We have the Buttercup Lucene. Wow, would you look at that colour on the bottom side of it? Oh my, let's take a closer look at those ones. They are a type of clam shell, or I guess a leucine uh, shell. So on top they do have some very nice textures. Lovely and white, 
but it isn't until you like flip them over and see that yellow that you're like, oh my god, these ones are kind of stunning. Wow, that is absolutely lovely. I've, I mean, I've never seen anything like these here either. I don't know if we can get these um, sorts of bivalves where I live. So again, a very exotic and interesting shell to me. That is absolutely wonderful. I'm definitely going to display them with their yellow side out because that is just like bright and sunny and gorgeous, you know. Wow. There we go. Oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness, another big abalone. I loved the first abalone. Let's take a look at you. This one is the Russian abalone. So this is what I thought the other one was to begin with. Oh, wow. Would you take a look at that deep green and gold color? Okay, that speaks to the Australian in me. I know it's a Russian shell, but green and gold's kind of our colors, you know? Wow, absolutely beautiful on the inside. So the first one I got was the donkey abalone which is quite long and has this nice pattern. The second one is the Russian abalone. Wow, they are absolutely massive abalone shells. Like, as I said, the ones I get here are much, much smaller. Oh my goodness, these are so exotic and lovely. Oh, words fail to describe just how impressed I am with this gift. And I do want to mention that this truly was a gift. I did not pay for any of this at all. I wasn't even allowed to help with postage for this. This is all because Trudy enjoys watching my videos and is genuinely just a very generous and lovely person. So I am blown away. Thank you so, so much. Oh, wow. Wow. This one's got some heft to him. It's, um, I was going to say it's a clamshell, you know, the most unintelligent thing I could use to describe it when it has its name on the bottom. It is a Southern Quahog. I hope I'm saying that right. I am sure I mispronounced that earlier in the video by saying quadong or some kind of like fruit that we have here. Oh my goodness, you know, this one, it's still got all of its lovely textures and stuff. It's just got like a bit of like a, I don't want to say chalky because it's not leaving any like chalky residue on me. I mean, the glitter is from the bags, <laughs> but this one, it almost seems like it's fossilized or something. That is super, super interesting. Wow, really, really like that one. That's just... Absolutely, once again, very different than the shells I would usually find. Alrighty. Oh, we've got an empty bag here. That might have been the one that I took something else out of. I am losing track, even though I have tried to be a good girl. I have with me now, it says it's a purple mussel. Let's take a look at you. Can't really see it too well with the red in the way. Ooh! Would you get a load of this thing? Look at how shiny and polished that is. Wait, okay, everyone, everyone. Can muscle shells genuinely be this polished? Or is it like like naturally? Or is it something that you have to do yourself with like um with some kind of like polishings? Because I find that like I find muscle shells at the beach, but I don't usually pick them up because I've got all this kind of like airy stuff on them. Oh my goodness, a purple muscle. On the side here it says made in Philippines. So again, I am very surprised to find a joined bivalve actually, you know, was able to get through um, the Australian uh, biosecurity check because of the, um, the thin tissue that connects them. Of course, if you did put these in bleach, that thin tissue would dissolve and be removed forever, but you wouldn't have a lovely joined shell anymore. Oh my goodness, you know what? I actually really, really like this one. Got such a lovely color as well. I gotta tell you, it feels like glass. The join here is like a nice point, like a nice sharp point that is absolutely spectacular and wonderful. I am very impressed with this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're finally up to the last. Oh my goodness. We are finally up to the last shell. And when I read it on the um on the note before, I'm like, oh, a tiger shell? We can sort of get tiger calories here. But oh, wow. Look at this one. This one is actually from Hawaii. It, the note here says cameo tiger calorie. I guess the cameo part comes from the fact that it actually has a handcrafted design put into it. And of course, the handcrafted design is a pineapple sitting atop the pineapple plant, which I think is adorable because I was actually walking through the park behind the house the other day um, because there's the um, grocery store behind there. And someone had actually planted the pineapple plant in this random nature park and there was a pineapple growing on top of it just like on this shell. Oh my goodness, that is spectacular. Wow. So of course someone has etched out the design and um, 
and that. So this brown is the original pattern of the cowry, the brown in the spots. And then they've gone in and painstakingly shaved away um, the pattern to reveal its purple um, color underneath. So adult cowries have a lovely purple underneath their patterns on top. So you know a cowrie gets worn away if you see it with you see when you see it being purple. I'm sorry, I've been talking for a while. I'm getting a little bit tongue tied now. Wow, that is absolutely spectacular. Um, to my knowledge, I don't believe that. Um, the lady who sent me this, I don't believe that Trudy actually has been to Hawaii. This was one that she saw and thought was absolutely lovely and decided to purchase it for her collection. And now she has decided to share it with me. Thank you so, so much. That is absolutely wonderful. I do love pineapple plants. I think they're just the most amazing. And, you know, they're actually pineapple plants. If you see pictures of them on the internet, I think they're hilarious because they do look kind of silly with a pineapple growing on top of them. I think they're just like super fun and happy plants. And oh my goodness, um, words fail to describe what you have sent to me, Trudy. Thank you so, so much. That is the entire shell box. There was only one small, small break right there on the angel wing. But I mean... I don't mind that. I think it looks absolutely fine no matter what. I am surprised that it was only something this small and minor. That is, honestly, I think that's amazing considering it took what? Um, this box was sent to me expedited. Um, so express post, priority post, whatever you want to call it. And it arrived in something like 20, 20 something days from uh, Pennsylvania all the way to Australia. And it went through a biosecurity check. I am absolutely amazed by how well everything survived and how well packaged it was thank you so so much for all of these um i guess you may or may not want to hear what my favorite is honestly i am pretty sure i would not be able to to give you a favorite as as it stands there is just absolutely too many wonderful lovely shells and they're all so different and unique oh my god I almost forgot about, I almost, not, I didn't forget, I almost forgot about this one from right at the start. Wow, looking at that again, that is so, so nice. My favourite though, and it's like, you know what, guys, down in the comments, let me know which ones you think Trudy knocked out of the park here. Because honestly, I can't decide. There are so many amazing, wonderful, lovely shells, which I just do not find here ever. They're just Oh, they're just so different, so interesting. I don't even have enough space to put them all down. Here we go. I like I like this one. I like the Lataxis. It probably isn't my favourite, though. I think my favourite, you know what? My favourite is going to be the sentimental ones. These vintage heirloom money calories from Trudy's family. I think these ones are just worth, like, more than what anyone could even imagine these are just like something that she shared from for me or shared to me from her own family that is absolutely wonderful they are absolutely beautiful specimens as well absolutely beautiful oh I cannot describe words now I am I've been talking for like almost an hour I am losing my ability to like cognitively describe things wow also also, wow, really do love that fossil tooth. You know what? There is just too many lovely shells here. I couldn't, I don't think I could ever pick. But I must say, the money calories really stand out to me. Same with the scotch bonnet. Same with, funnily enough, the, uh, the muscle shell. Really, really love how shiny and smooth that is. Same with this guy, this polished black and white magpie turbo. I think he is absolutely amazing. So yes, once again, I have I've not been able to fit all of these in the screen. But once again, please let me know down in the comments, which ones do you think were the best that Trudy sent to me? And I suppose that's it for this time, everyone. You've, you Thank you so much for watching this extremely long unboxing video. Again, Trudy, thank you so, so much. I am absolutely blown away by the amount of generosity that you have given me. This is just, I mean, to be honest, something like this, I don't get given generous gifts. This is just like one of those, like once in a lifetime acts of kindness for me. Um, I'm, I'm waffling on, but I, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Words just cannot explain how grateful and honored I am, especially when it comes to these um, money calories from your from your family, from Guam. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you so, so much to everyone who has watched this as well. This has been a long video. And I suppose that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on a fun beach shelling adventure. Bye, guys!